Hi there. Well, I uh, put together a video about a Toro battery that I bought that was dead and I uh, was able to fix it and revive it. It had one bad cell. I found that bad cell and replaced it. And I lost a whole bunch of the footage in the beginning. So I'll just throw these pictures up in here and show you some of the battery disassembly. And then we'll get right back to the show in progress. Yeah. Ooh, a little blurry. Can't get focus. You see we screw in right uh, right in that joiner. And she locks together on this side. Yeah, I need to get this down to 3.5 volts. And uh, you see when I take the uh, lead off, you know, the battery rebounds a bit. So... We'll just take our time, get it down where it needs to be. That way, if they're all balanced at 3.5, 3.1, 3.2 volts, when I put it back together and charge it up, it'll all be good and balanced. All right, I've got the battery leads put back in. I've got the uh, thermal sensor I still need to put on there. And I got there. So I'm going to plug her in, put some volts to her, and see if she holds up before I finish putting it together all together. Let's see if we get the meter. Oh, that's a lot of wires. All right, we got the meter, DC volts. One in there and one in there. Yeah, we're running 50 and she's a 60 volt battery. So we'll juice her up some. And uh, so I got 15 batteries right now and they're all at 3.5. And if I did the math, I bet you that would come really close to 15. Okay, we got the temp probe taped down to one of the battery cells. You get the BMS all snugged in. Looking like a legitimate battery again. All right, so I got her on the bench uh, power supply right now. And uh, I'm gonna bring her up to at least 55 volts before I plug it into the Toro charger. That way, All right, this is reading 56 and a half. Let's turn the uh, meter off. Let's see, she goes to, yeah, 55 and a half by the time she gets done settling down somewhere in that neighborhood. So that should be decent voltage. So we can. Put this bad boy together now and take her out in the garage. So one last thing, I've got some non-corrosive RTV coming. So I'll just throw some uh, sealant here, here, and here to hold these connections in. Um, I was just gonna use regular RTV, but I read in it said it has acerbic acid and acerbic acid will cause corrosion. So we're getting the non-corrosive RTV coming in the mail later today so I'll just snap her back apart and put a dab on there or if I get impatient I'll throw some hot glue on it well, that'd be easier with two hands all right let's uh, take her out in the garage see if she charges and no way to do this one-handed but Get her like that. And that's a good charge. 
So we'll leave that on for a while. And then I'll keep this one and I'll sell that one because it's perfectly good. I bought it last year and uh, only used it a few times. It's a little dusty from the lawnmower. A little too small for the lawnmower. So I got the six amp, that works much better. And uh, that's my main lawnmower battery. This one I can cut the front yard and a little bit of the back and she dies. And solar setup's looking good. Getting a new battery in my uh, multimeter. Putting, uh, well this is a mess, but I'm putting um, a whole new set of meters on the front. So I 3D printed this case and put some magnets on it and we will eventually get all of the batteries with meters like that. So I'm half in the middle of that project too. 200 amps looking great. This used 100 amp I got down here, she drains the fastest and uh, shouldn't have bought a used battery. That's all there is about that. But otherwise, yeah, she's bopping along pretty good. All right, she's all charged up. Let's see if I can do this. I can't do this. Sorry, Mr. DeMille. All right, we're gonna take her over to the Toro. This bungee's just here to hold the lid open because I'm trying to film with a phone instead of buying a GoPro. Okay, we're plugged in. We got full charge. And here we go. She works. One restored battery, just like that. Ah, diggity dog. All right, I just finished mowing the front yard. It's not very big at all, but I went slow and I had it on the highest setting to try to pick up some debris from the winter. So let's see how our battery's doing. Yeah, about half the battery, that's normal. So that's a two amp hour battery totally rebuilt.